Hey friends, good to see you guys again. So, happy Sunday, happy spring. And today is no ordinary Sunday. Today is Easter. So, happy Easter to you all who celebrate it. So today, you guys, did you know that um, Columbus has a handful of historic neighborhoods? And the majority of these historic neighborhoods are in an area called the Near East Side of Columbus, which has several historic neighborhoods. And the one in particular that we're going to be focusing on is Franklin Park area. In the Franklin Park area, there is the Bryden Road Historic District. So let's go check that out. Let's look at Google Maps to get a precise location of the Bryden Road Historic District. It starts at the intersection of Parsons Avenue, where Town Street turns into Bryden. It runs through Old Town East and the Franklin Park Districts, which are all part of the Near East Side. There are 12 historic neighborhoods that make up the Near East Side of Columbus, Ohio. The site was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1978. Let's continue heading through downtown Columbus to Town Street. Town Street ends at Parsons Avenue and Bryden Road begins. All right, guys, so we are on the corner of Parsons and Bryden. So that's where the Bryden Road um, uh, District starts. So at this corner here is where you'll find the Bryden Road Historic District marker. So let me go ahead and read this to you guys. Bryden Road is named after James Bryden, a city councilman and county commissioner who owned 135 acres here in the 1840s. By 1900, Bryden Road was known for its stately homes, canopy of elms, and the electrically lit metal arch at its west entrance. And we'll go ahead and check that out as well. Some of the city's most prominent residents lived here, including Lorenzo English, mayor for five terms, and Joseph Carr, founder and president of the National Football League. The works of artist Alice Schill and George Bellows Jr., architect Joseph Yost, and Florence Kenyon Rector, and writer James Thurber are part of the Bryden Road legacy. The homes remaining today represent unique, a unique inventory of architectural styles, Italianate, Second Empire, Gothic Revival, Queen Anne, Foursquare, Tudor, Romanesque Revival, Chateauesque, Georgian Revival, Craftsman, and Prairie. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and drive down Bryden and check out these beautiful homes. Here's some interesting facts. The Bryden Road Historic District was established by Columbus City Council in 1990 as the 44th listed property on the Columbus Register of Historic Properties. The Bryden Road Historic District was named after James Bryden, 
a Scottish immigrant who was a prominent businessman and civic leader in Columbus. Originally, Bryden Road was going to be called West Mound Street, but was renamed in 1890 after James Bryden. The district was originally developed as a streetcar suburb, and many of the homes were built for wealthy businessmen and professionals. The district was home to a number of prominent African-American families in the early 20th century, including the family of the civil rights leader, John Hope Franklin. Here are some interesting facts about Bryden Road. There are 133 homes in the Bryden Road Historic District. The homes were built between 1885 and 1915. The Bryden Road Historic District is actually a part of the Old Town East neighborhood. The Bryden Road Historic District was significantly damaged by a fire in 1915, but many of the homes were rebuilt. The district is currently undergoing a period of revitalization, with new businesses and residents moving in. The Bryden Road Historic District is one of the most architecturally significant neighborhoods in Columbus. We've reached the end of Bryden Road on the east side. We're going to turn around here at the Norfolk Railway Bridge and head west back to Parsons Avenue 
so you can see the historic homes on the opposite side of Brighton. It'll only take five minutes, and I still have a few more interesting facts to share with you on Brighton Road. Stay with me. When we get to Parsons Avenue, we'll head to Franklin Park and quickly view the historic homes on Franklin Park West and Franklin Park South. I really think you're going to enjoy and appreciate how well these homes have been maintained to keep with its original time. Here are some of the notable homes in the Bryden Road Historic District. The Fred Lazarus Home, built in 1906, was the home of the founder of Lazarus Department Stores. The Daniel Sowers House, built in 1899, is one of the oldest homes in the district. The Joseph Firestone House, built around 1900, was demolished in 2008 by the Columbus Foundation. The John M. Pugh House, built in 1890, was destroyed around 1900. And the Edward Merkel House, built in 1907, was demolished around 1972.
We're back on the west side of Bryden, where we started. Let's shoot up Parsons Avenue to Broad Street and quickly visit the Franklin Park District. We'll drive around the park while I share additional interesting facts. And to close it off, I'll throw the drone up in the air so we can really appreciate the beauty of Franklin Park. The historic homes along East Broad Street that are north facing are still part of the Old Town East neighborhood until we reach Champion Avenue. Then we enter the Franklin Park neighborhood. Just an FYI, the historic homes across East Broad Street that are south facing are part of the King Lincoln Bronzeville neighborhood and also the Woodland Park neighborhood. Again, these neighborhoods are all part of the Near East Side Historic District. We're now heading down Franklin Park West. Franklin Park is primarily zoned residential and includes many single family homes, duplexes, row houses, and apartment buildings.
Here's some information about the Columbus Near East Side District. It's a historic district in Columbus, Ohio, that was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1978. The district is made up of several neighborhoods, including Mount Vernon, King Lincoln Bronzeville, Eastgate, Franklin Park, Nelson Park, Old Town East, and Woodland Park. The Near East Side is home to a variety of historical and cultural attractions, including the Lincoln Theater, the King Arts Complex, and the Franklin Park Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. All right, guys, thank you so much again for joining me on this trip, and I hope to see you guys again real soon. Take it easy.